Hey there, hope you are doing well. Well, adapter pattern, it's a behavior design pattern and um, it's a pattern to just give the ability for incompatible types to work together. So when we come to real example or real example of our life, when we have two devices which is more incompatible to work together, we we just bring an adapter plug to make th these two devices work together, right? The same idea when we um, try to go to development or programming because sometimes we we deal with third party libraries or. Um, or legacy code which ha which has um, modules and classes and uh, we can't uh, directly make changes to these classes or modules, right? So we need to adapt the situation by using adapt pattern uh, by uh, make extension or create adapter uh, class from scratch. So. Um, Adapter pattern consists of four parts. First one, which is client, and this client, which is object using an adapter, and we need to create a protocol to be implemented by this adapter. And adapter, this where is a this is a place where we um, need to if we need to change anything, we will change change it in this adapter. And the last part is the legacy object. Okay. And the only thing we need to uh, keep in our mind is that we need to keep the, the things readable to make the life easier for us later on when we uh, back to the project um, and read the code and also uh, to make it readable for um, for the teammates who will work uh, with, it, with us um, in the project. Okay, so let's jump on for some example. Well. I'm gonna do the example for Firebase SDK. So um, we will have an view controller adapter example view controller, and we will have a Firebase uh, Analytics SDK. And instead of just import Firebase SDK in the view controller or in each view controller each, each time, we can simply create an adapter and implement a specific protocol, which, is, which we will call it analytics engine to do the logic in this adapter. So um, let's for, follow the um, diagram step by step. First thing we will need to uh, create a protocol, we will call it analytics engine. And the method we will need to apply here will to send an analytics event, right? Well, let's now create some adapter. This will be a class. As we see in the diagram, we will implement the protocol we already added. So this is will implement analytics engine. So here we can um, deal directly with um, Firebase analytics. So we will need to import Firebase analytics. And we can do it like analytics log event and here we can pass the parameters after that we will simply in the view controller we will have the adapter as a property here but it will be it will be of a type analytics engine right And we can simply add um, add it here. We can call it can be empty so far. 
So the usage of this will be for future changes or if for any reason we change it using or consuming Firebase Analytics and we needed to um, use another SDK or we implement our own uh, module, we can simply change it in only in one place, which is an adapter. Um, and uh, just um, the other code in the view control will be the same because we will not have to change the import, change the logic here in every view control, right? Well, that's um, all for this video. If you have any feedback, please let me know. And um, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.